Hello Cloud Gurus, Dean Bryan here. Lars is off getting himself an ice cream in this lovely Orlando weather. So I'm starting today's episode. We've passed the halfway mark for Microsoft Ignite 2019 already. However, things haven't slowed down. There's tons more Azure news. It's like somebody's turned on the Cloud Tap and just left it running all week. If you missed the first two days of episodes, you should go back and probably check them out now. Oh, Lars is here. Where's my ice cream? Get out of the way. Jeez, Dean. Oh, thanks, Dean. On this episode of day three for Ignite, Visual Studio Online leverages Azure and enters preview. Azure App Services finally gets free SSL certificates, finally. Azure Functions get rid of cold starts and there's a revamped developer portal for API management. You're watching Azure This Week, the show that uses spare Microsoft staff for introducing random episodes of the show. One of the really big and quite surprising announcements here at Ignite is the release of Visual Studio Online. This new service brings together Visual Studio, cloud-hosted developer environments, and a web-based editor that's accessible from anywhere to help developers be more productive than ever. Yep, you heard me right. Visual Studio in your browser, as well as cloud-hosted Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio IDE. At Ignite, Microsoft announced the preview of free managed certificates integrated directly with app services. Hooray! This awesome new service provides developers a totally free option to work on your dev, test, and production sites. It's available if you're on an app service plan of basic and above. Free and shared tiers are not supported, at least not yet. This certificate issued will be a standard certificate and not a wildcard certificate and will be valid for six months. About a month before the certificate's expiration date, App Services will renew the certificate. Magic! So go use it. Now, go. The Azure Functions Premium Plan, now generally available, allows you to build high demanding solutions in production. This new plan gets rid of cold starts using pre-warmed instances. So that means you will always have a VM running in the background, ready to process your function, so you don't have that delay the first time it runs. The newly refreshed Azure API Management Developer Portal, thank you Microsoft for that naming, makes it easier to compose user interfaces uh, with a visual editor and to access APIs for automating development, management, and deployment. This portal, which is now generally available, allows users to easily manage and catalog all APIs within their organizations, making it easier to find and reuse existing services. It also has a new feature that injects unicorns into your API to increase speed tenfold. That's it for day three here at Microsoft Ignite in Orlando, Florida. While we're here, we're also recording a bunch of Azure Fireside chat episodes to make sure you get even more details on all the announcements. Well, some of them at least. So look out for episodes over the coming months right here on the platform. As we say on the A Cloud Guru team, when Microsoft team members crowd our shows with their wisdom and technical brains, seek and you shall cloud. So see you tomorrow and keep being awesome Cloud Gurus.